A very good afternoon. I hope I find you very well. Um, you got it from the title of this video. Um, Richard Rhodes, uh, Jeff Bice Cars, um, who are now uh, talking on the internet regarding uh, very, very uh, important things that are happening uh, in this world. Um, things that are um, causing many problems, I believe, which are not being addressed by those in power. Um, another great voice, which, which, which is crying out for freedom, our freedom right now, is Neil Oliver, uh, the guy that used to do the Coast programmes for the BBC. Uh, he's been seeing things changing since, um, well, I guess the beginning of the infection that went around the world. And everything's accelerated since then. Years ago, I had a YouTube channel which I operated, which was basically about anything that took my fancy. Most of it was about wristwatches because I had a lot of friends and, and, and colleagues that dealt in the collection of magical little machines that we wore on our wrists. But I would also do other bits and pieces on that channel which covered all sorts of things. Now anywhere about kind of six years ago, five years ago, I started covering things that were really worrying me. Uh, those things were what I was seeing has been the beginnings of loss of free speech in this country. That the uh, radical uh, beliefs of the um, Islam community were potentially going to cause problems in this country. That universities were doing things wrong. They were turning young, interested, intelligent, uh, educational, hungry young people into frightened people who needed emotional support and safe spaces. And all of this has come true. Of course now, since those days, we've had the death of George Floyd. And the rising up of BLM and all the problems that that caused and the what, what they don't see as the importance of their belief that racism is nothing about skin colour, but everything about stupidity and hatred of whatever skin colour you happen to be against and that they want a an opt out as it were for perhaps their life view of not achieving whose fault is that well the white man of course and they don't do any historical research uh, about slavery and yet they want to spout that kind of thing and the hatred of the slavers, although it was Britain who ended all that, of course, um, is being demolished because apart from being accused of slavery and slave trading, they achieved other great things in different great cities around the United Kingdom and indeed in the wider empire as was. So I really want to celebrate and salute Richard Vogels and Jeff Buys Cars and um, Neil Oliver because they're now putting this voice out there at a time where more and more people are seeming to notice things aren't quite right. And it doesn't matter whether it's um, immigration. We have got a lot of people who apparently support limitless immigration 
But if you take the numbers of people coming in out of it completely and just look at the geography of the United Kingdom, we are, when compared to lots of other nations, a tiny, tiny country. There is only so much landmass. There is only so much water. There is only so much um, power that can be generated here. So much so that we buy our power from many other places right now. So the country as a block, as a unit, can only support a certain number of people. And I believe that our population, as it stands right now, is enough for now. We have many, many problems, all of which seem to be going disregarded by those in power. We have a government at the moment who are ineffective at best, deluded at worst. And we have an unelected prime minister who should have never got the job. In my opinion, he should be on bended knee thanking the people of the United Kingdom for allowing him to be PM without there being a general election. We have people to the north of us in Scotland who are trying to break away from the Union. To the west we have Wales and we have Mr Drakeford and all his people in there who are using important funds to do stupid things. I find this country quite a sad place to be right now. But I think it's a positive thing that there appears to be more and more people, such as the three I've mentioned, who are coming out saying things which are difficult to say on a number of, of, of reasons. One, because it may be badly viewed or unpopular by the, the, the people in general of the United Kingdom. But I believe that's changing. And of course, you've got to be very careful what you say on here. YouTube because you say one wrong thing and you'd be blocked and that is not a the free platform that this was always meant to be I believe so my plan here is I'm going to make a slight comeback to YouTube my old channel is still there it's the same channel as this you can look back and find my old content but it won't be kind of about that it's going to be more about the things that I see that are worrying right now and more importantly that are going to adversely affect the great peoples of this nation and when I say peoples I mean all of us the Scottish the Welsh the English and the Irish and not just Northern Ireland but the island of Ireland the Republic of Ireland have got many problems right now they are being dictated to by the EU and they're being pushed to take lots and lots of immigrants into small communities in the Republic and that's just not right the people of these islands have to come first. We have to ensure that the people who are in need have what they need. We have the pe we have people who are hugely powerful and hugely rich. Those people we need to make sure that they understand they have to do their bit to help the country. And that we all come together as one mass to pull together to make Britain a better place. Because right now, right now, it isn't the country I remember growing up in. It isn't the country that I want our younger people to grow up in. But it appears that the generation that came after me seem to be running with a different agenda right now. They don't seem to have um, love for this great country of ours so i'll leave this one here um have a think about it put your thoughts 
down below in the comments. Let me let me have a read what your feelings are. I, I, I don't think I'm alone in this, how I'm feeling, how I'm worried about how the country is going to change in, in the relatively near future, within the next decade, I believe the country will be a completely different place if we're not careful. So drop your details down below. Let me have a chat to you. See what you think. If there's anything that you want me to have a chat about, by all means, let me know. And for now, I'll say bye-bye.